Clear back on at this point in time. We're switching to overall and ventilation. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yep. I hear you loud and clear. Hey, Vernon. How you doing, Chief? Good. We got a house fire going on right now. Oh, wow. Over on uh, South Berry Street. Mm. Yeah, and it's pretty windy out, too. It's always dangerous when it's windy. Yeah. Hey, Greg. How you doing, Greg? Good. How are you? Hey, Greg. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hanging in there, boss. Hanging in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. JR, are you there? Yep. Okay. How's it going, JR? Good. How are you, Vernon? Good. Good evening, Daryl. Good evening, Mayor. How are you? Good. And yourself? Good, thanks. Daryl, JR. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, Ron, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good night. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Hi, Kim. How are you? Doing good, good Mayor. Mayor. How, are you? how are you? Good. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Kenny, we got you.
Okay. Uh, Mickey, you, you got, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. And Kenny, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Got you. Okay. There's only a, well, let's see, there would be a Stella Moore, Karen Young, Daryl Padge. Is Daryl with you? Chair. Just got a text that he's on his way. Okay. Darren, I mean, not Daryl. I'm sorry. Yep, I got you. He's coming right now. Okay. And Della's coming in right now. So. Hello, Della. How are you? Hello, Della. Hello, 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 everybody. And Karen is coming on right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I haven't heard from, uh, I did hear back from Kevin Watkins who wanted to remain. So we'll see if he joins us. And Dan McGraw is at working the uh, football game tonight. Uh, the uh, uh, high school modified team is playing at the stadium. So, and I think that's uh, that's just about everybody. So, welcome back. Uh, I sent you an email earlier, just uh, explaining that we have one task left, and that's to develop a uh, a police reform uh, committee for uh, consideration by the Common Council. Uh, I have been given some direction by the Council President and uh, what he would like this board to do is come up with uh, two or three different uh, forms of a police reform committee and he will take that to the Council and uh, then come back with direction for this committee to uh, and carry on the goal of uh, uh, forming the uh, reform committee that the council will accept. So having said that, uh, we're here tonight to, uh, to look at different versions, I guess, and uh, come back with uh, what we would like to take forth to the council. I guess the direction is that we come up with uh, a couple of different ideas, two, three different ideas, uh, let the council review that and then come back and say, here's what we'd like you to develop. So uh, having said that, comments, concerns. Go ahead, Todd. I got a concern and a comment. Um, we already have, we're not, we're, that's gonna, if we put together a few civilian review boards, you know how long that's gonna take. And we already have uh, something that was presented. People's already read, people's already got, went through it, tried to work over it. So I don't understand why we're gonna, as you guys would say, reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm fine with, uh, taking, if this is what the committee wants to do, I'm fine with taking what you have uh, back to the council and saying, here's what they are recommending. Uh, it was suggested by the council president that we have alternatives. So he suggested to me that we have a couple of different plans that, uh, that the council can mull over. Hmm. My, my second thing would be when we were in the review board, when we did the police review thing mm -hmm. uh, or the reinvention, that's not what was said. What was said was that we would try to figure out with the plan that was put forth 
and the council didn't want anything to do with it. Now they want to guide us on how we do it. There's some confusion there to me. Mm -hmm. Well, if you remember, uh, no plan was put forth to the council. We were uh, the, re the police reinvention plan said that this committee would continue on to develop a police review board to present to the council. Correct, which was already done, right? And we've already been working on it. Yeah. So now, now we're going to change that all. That I, doesn't make any sense. That like that's that's telling me like we're either pushing it down the road or trying to come up with reasons to stall it out. I don't know what it would be, but there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. I, I, I shouldn't be the only one speaking here, but. Then there was an alternate, then they say well, alternate plan, something, another plan they can come have a choice. Is that what I'm not, that's what I'm hearing? Correct, yes. but did, didn't they already have time to do that? Like that, like we've been doing this for how long and nobody put anything together except the one that was put together from the, that came to us in the committee, except that little thing that was put together by the police department. And then when that got, presented to us that got included in the one that we were presented with. So if the police department already came up with one that they thought was good, we, we have one that we've been working on and they're both implemented. Why would we start all over? Like that's just, that's just wasting time, more time. How many people have to drop off before like there's nobody to put it together? Go ahead, Greg. Well, Ty, the proposal you're talking about is the one that uh, Vernon submitted some time back? Yes, sir. Okay. I, I think that we have to look at that because there's some things that are going to cause litigation to the city if that one gets if that one gets implemented. I mean, that's what we've been doing was looking at it, and that's what we were supposed to just that's what this committee was supposed to do was continue further to look at that. That's all I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I thought that's what the whole plan was. Oh, if yeah. we're switching the plan in the middle, let me know, because, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to add. So if, if we're going to send in uh, multiple versions, uh, I know it was discussed at one point that some people were for uh, voted in. Uh, members and then others were for appointed. So I guess to have an alternate plan, I guess that's one thing that I can look at to where you can have an alternate. You can have one where the people are appointed and have one where the people are voted in. And that's a significant difference there. Uh, one will require a lot more than the other. So um, other than that, I mean, I'm just here to work out a plan. I don't think it should take us that long to work out a plan. Go ahead, Greg. Mayor, would it be fair to ask the city attorney or the city's labor relations attorney to look at the plans um, and give their legal advice as to what it may bring to the city? If we ask that those be implemented, well, yes. I mean, yeah. Any any plan is going to have to be, you know, looked at by the city attorney, uh, and uh, uh, we may have to. Yeah, the labor attorney should look at it, and uh, you know, and go from there. So, but the short answer is yes. They should be reviewed. So, would would we all agree that we could use? The combination of those two as a as a draft with everything that maybe some people wanted in one and others wanted in the other to have the attorneys come back and tell us what has to be eliminated and then work from there to to to, to com complete a draft. I would I think, wait on that. Yeah, I think um the the proposal that was brought forward wasn't made up out of thin air. It's actually already been through multiple lawyers. 
um, I mean, you can have, I mean, you guys have had a copy of it for a while now. So, I mean, to have the lawyer look at it, I mean, I figured he would have looked at it by now. I figured if you had the union attorney, he would have looked at it by now. I mean, this isn't all new information. This is all stuff that's been presented back in December. So, um, you know, and it, the other thing is, uh, I, I know I've researched where lawyers, I mean, you have a union lawyer say that it's going to uh, affect them at some point. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing in there that's going to affect anyone uh, as far as uh, the union aspect. Um, the matrix that we'll be going by is the one that is already being used by the police station uh, or by Olean City Police. So that will be the disciplinary action that will be used. Uh, granted, we'll, we'll never use it, right? So. I mean, there, there, there's just, to me, no reason why we have to, you know, like Ty said, there's no reason to stall. We can pretty much get right into it, you know, whether it be this week or next week and go right through. I mean, you can have the lawyers look at it over the next week. And then when we meet next week, you can present whatever their findings were. But I mean, for the most part, if they disagree with anything on there, then whose information do we trust? You know, the the ones that were already written and gone through lawyers or the ones that we have as a city, you know, it's all opinionated regardless. Well, it's not really opinionated because um, those particular things can work in other jurisdictions where they don't have contractual agreements or where their disciplinary procedures not followed under the civil service law. In this particular proposal, <clears throat> That wants to take the power away from the chief and the mayor, which would be in violation of the contract and civil service law because the disciplinary procedure currently is governed by the civil service law for the city of Olean. I think but, you made an assumption there. There's uh, there is no power taken away from the chief in that plan. Um, it's uh, the civilian rule board will recommend to the chief and the chief will make his decision based on the matrix that you have in place, like I said. So um, uh, maybe maybe we should get the most current version. I don't know what version you have. I know um, you were missing there for one or two meetings. I don't know if you have the most current version, but uh, there was one that was sent out and I don't remember when, I think it was mid January, uh, maybe late January, uh, there was a version sent out and it combined the version from the Olean Police Station or Olean Police Department and uh, the version that, uh, that we had uh, constructed. And it was revised and to include both. And uh, there, was, there was no power taken away. There is absolutely nothing in there that affects any union. There is nothing in there that affects the collective bargaining agreement. So like I said, I've said this a million times, uh, that, that keeps getting thrown in there, but there's absolutely nothing in there that affects either one. So, like I said, this is something simple and easy. Um, it, Bert, you can you go back that to me again, because apparently I missed it. I've got, I've got the first version, your first version, and then the one that I submitted. Right. So yeah, you are missing one then. Yeah, I don't have the combination of the two. So, well, you, I, have not, the one that went I have not presented anything to the attorneys yet because we really haven't uh, said definitely what the plan, what plan this committee is coming out with. I would be happy to, uh, you know, take the that, that uh, the version and uh, get an opinion on it, and then uh, come back to the, you know, have them uh, have them bring, you know, have even have the attorney you know, write an opinion and then give it back to the board here before the final is made. Uh, that's why it hasn't gone to the attorney yet because we really haven't we really haven't voted on or or presented a plan to present to the common council. We've had, uh, you know, there's been, uh, this has been talked about and uh, I'm not sure if I have the, the current version or not um, uh, that went out either. It, uh, let's see what I can do here. Mary, you gonna put it in the chat? Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Let me see what I could do here. 
I, I think it would be worthwhile, um, Vernon alluded to it, to come up with different proposals in terms of how we comprise the board and sort of major policy issues like that, we can come up with alternatives to give consideration to. And I don't see any real problem with um, any area where we think that um, there might be legal issues uh, at hand, having the review of an attorney, the city attorney who can give feedback they might make recommendations. They may say, leave this, this might be a concern. This may be something you don't want to have in it all together. You know, they, 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 that's valuable advice, whether or not, um, you know, not everything the lawyer says people follow and nor are they obliged to follow. But I think getting their um, advice is always helpful. Can I ask like, what, what has, what, we've been talking about the civilian review board for months. We've been discussing the legality of it. What's legal, what's not. You guys keep saying this is illegal. We tell you that it's not illegal. Lawyers have looked at it. At, at what point do you want me to seriously believe that you are trying to make this happen, but yet you have not spoke to any city attorney about this, not even asking them like, hey, can you tell us if this is legal or not illegal? Like that makes no sense to me for you guys to wait for the last minute to do that. Now, all of a sudden, when pressure is kicking in, now we wanna come up with, hey, let's take it to the city attorney and let him have time to go over it. He's had time. Like, I, I don't understand what goes on down. I just don't get what goes on down there. I really don't get it. And, and, and I have no problem putting in another proposal. I have no, I have no problem with that. Some of it may not even be an issue of legality versus illegality. It may just have to do with um, harmonizing certain contractual requirements. Those kind of fine tooth details should be looked at. Um, so I, I don't think anybody's suggesting that the concept is illegal. I think it's just harmonizing and making sure everything is consistent so that it's a good working document. And that's, you know, you have to do that. Um, but I mean, everybody's on this and on this call to achieve a purpose here. We're not here to- that have been done already, sir? I don't think, I, I mean, I think we're all here with good faith to come up with a good plan that uh, serves the community and, and everybody that we can have confidence in. I think that's, Justice, unfortunately, sometimes is slow, um, but yes. I think we're all here committed to achieving a good result for the community and for everyone involved. At least. So that means justice should have been done in the long run. I got you. I just want, I just want uh, if we're going to do it, we got to do it right. Correct. And, and that's what people have been saying, but yet we're at this point talking about it needs to go to the city attorney. If it was being done right, it should have been presented to the city attorney a long time ago there was no reason to lead us on thinking that we were supposed to be using this the the uh, legislation that was put in there was no reason to lead us on thinking that this is what we should be working on like i've been spending my time since that thing has been put in doing my research so now i'm just supposed to like what well, that was just a waste of time now not a waste no. of time. no mm -mm. vicky you've had your hand up go ahead yeah, I just want to kind of scale it back for a second here and mention that um, in the police reform workbook put out by the governor's office, um, this specific issue gets highlighted very clearly, starting on page 64, uh, under the citizen oversight and other external accountability section. And it, it covers very well how, um, you know, lawyers, city officials, etc, may lean to one side where um, independent reviewers may lean to another side. It mm -hmm. talks about all this stuff. It is in the reform workbook. It should be our guide to this process. If I could just read from a couple of sections here. There are a number of ex existing oversight entities to look at as models already. The New York City Board is composed of 13 members, five appointed by the mayor, five appointed by the city council, and three appointed by the police commissioner. The board has the power to investigate complaints, including subpoena power, and can recommend discipline. 
However, the police commissioner has final authority over the imposition of discipline. Mm -hmm. The Chicago board is composed of nine members appointed by the mayor with the consent of the city council. The board has investigative and subpoena power and power to to impose disciplinary measures. The Baltimore board is composed of nine voting members nominated by the mayor and confirmed by the city council, along with five non-voting members from community stakeholders. The board does not have the power to investigate or impose discipline. It is it may simply review complaints. And it goes on to talk about how you may need to look at um, you know, what powers exist already within the, the council um, and what sort of legislation may need to get passed by the council in order to set up such a board. Um, Based on my knowledge of the city charter, um, it should be pretty swift, pretty easy with minimal changes necessary, uh, whatever direction you were to go to. But I think um, there's a couple of key questions. What level of review should it conduct? Should it review the findings with Internal Affairs Bureau or conduct its own investigation? What power should it have to interview officers or other witnesses? or to compel officers or other witnesses to be interviewed and to review documents, recordings, interviews, etc. Should it be empowered to impose disciplinary action, recommend disciplinary action, or simply to substantiate complaints? Should it be authorized to formally refer cases to the attorney general or district attorney? What mechanisms are in place right now to ensure subject and witnesses uh, officers fully cooperate with the CRB. And that's where I think Vernon's proposal, even the modified one, is um, a real home run because it combines some of the, the, the older elements of the New York City Review Board as well as all the things that they've learned since the creation of that some, I don't know how many years ago, I think it was originally adopted in the 90s. Um, so it, it's, you know, it's the latest version, it's refined, it's matured. Um, so I, I think um, it is uh, what we have on the table here is substantiative and I'd like to have it looked into further by whoever. Anybody else? So Kim just emailed everybody a uh, document, the proposed legislation creating the elected civilian review board, ECRB document. Uh, just for clarification, is this the is this the uh, the version, the latest the version? Word, this yes. is the latest version. Yes. Okay. All right. And was my email in there? Because I haven't received it. Uh, I didn't get it either, Mayor. I didn't get it. I forwarded to everybody that was on the stream from the mayor tonight. I just did a respond all to the mayor's email about tonight's agenda. And I, I hit a respond all and I hit it out. So it should, I can take a look and see who it was sent to. Um, I was uh, sent to everyone in the sent to the mayor, the police collaborative. Okay, I just I just sent it out again. See if everybody gets it. This is. Uh, I, I just got yours, Mayor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just got the mayor's also. Karen, did you? Oh, that's because you can't mail email. In Mayor, remember uh, you had yeah. that issue with the diversity committee. Yeah. Okay. So everybody should have got that version. So does everybody have a copy now, or does somebody want me to send it out again individually to a specific email? Dr. Watkins, did you get a copy? Copy. I got a copy. Thank you. Okay. All right. Aaron, did you get it? Did you get? I do. Email? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Okay, Kenny, did you get it? 
Okay, I think I think everybody on here is now has it. Okay. Okay, so what is the pleasure? Is this the version that you would like me to send off to the the city attorney for review? Along with a, along with a few questions. Um, you know, like the ones I just brought up there. Uh, we want to know what the conflicts are, not just, no, this won't work. Okay. You know, you know, point to the specific uh, issues in the contracts, the city code, whatever it needs to be so that we can work with it, work around it. In, in terms of how the uh, board is appointed or elected, I still, um, there was a law review article I read that I still think was very valuable about um, having um, civic uh, institutions in the community put forth, like basically 75% of the people on the board would be appointed by um, civic minded institutions in the community. And that would be an assurance that they would want to put forward a quality person who's uh, got the best interests of the community at heart and then leave 25% to the discretion of the mayor. Um, I, I, to me, that seems like a, a, an interesting idea. If you, if you had all the, you know, the charitable organizations and the YMCA and, and uh, other organizations put forward somebody and then the mayor appoint 25% or have uh, a portion elected, a portion appointed. And um, I think you would assure yourself making sure that you had really quality people and then you also don't have the risk um, that comes with elections where you might have very polarizing um, agendas that either uh, attract one view or another where, without objectivity being the, um, the, the goal in mind. Um, you know, uh, that not to say that you wouldn't have incredible candidates um, by election as well, and, and maybe uh, a compromise of some elected, some appointed is the best approach, but I like the idea of civic organizations with an interest in the community appointing a quality person who's answerable to them and uh, wouldn't want to humiliate the, the uh, organization by taking unreasonable positions. And um, so to, to me, it was a thoughtful idea um, that resonated, but you know, objectivity has got to be the goal. Fairness and objectivity and justice has to be the goal, no matter what we decide or what we propose. Well, Daryl, that, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Kim, sorry. Well, um, I was just gonna say my concern would be that somehow we ensure that the Civilian Review Board represent um, a great di level of diversity. Mm -hmm. um, I, and I don't know how you guarantee that, or I don't know how you ensure that that happens, but I think that, um, I think that it's just important that mm -hmm. there is, um, there's a lot of diversity in terms of how the civilian review board is made up. And that's also highlighted in the um, reform workbook just before um, that um, part I read from earlier, it includes giving oversight entities power to weigh in on pertinent policy, requisite financial resources and access to investigative information. But it needs to be, um, you know, studies show that white Americans are far more likely than black Americans to believe that the police use, of, use an appropriate amount of force. So that diversity is key. key. And if you're inviting uh, too many business owners who likely live in the area as, as, as stakeholder groups with um, voting powers and stuff like this, you might get into lobbying territory and, and that's not necessarily a good thing. So I think diversity is key, like Kim just said. Um, to I just wanted to comment and go back to Daryl Bloom's comment. Um, I think that was a good idea, a good concept. I think the issue that we ran into last time we discussed that was the mayor selecting people. Uh, I know there was a few times we had discussed uh, the alderman uh, selecting uh, the members. Uh, and then there there was a rule, I don't remember where it's written, but the civilian rule board is supposed to co consist of uh, persons that are most affected, I think was the term that they use. And uh, yeah, business owners aren't in that category. Uh, so people that are most uh, in that category, I can't remember just that quick, but people that are in that category uh, tend to be mostly minorities. 
Uh, so, I, I mean, it, it would probably be difficult to fill all of the spots with minorities, and, and I completely understand that. But I think if you get the initial uh, members selected via the council, I think that's an alternative way. Uh, if we were, if we're going to present multiple uh, plans, then that would be one method that I would be fine with submitting and uh, and agreeing that um, instead of voting, we'll have the members appointed by the council. Um. I, I just wanted to say, obviously, business owners are stakeholders in the community, um, but I, I actually wasn't, I, I don't, I, when I'm talking about this idea, I'm really not referring to business owners. I'm talking about people actually like Della, like from the African American um, Center for Culture, um, having uh, her perhaps would be, I would see as an ideal person or, or her recommendation for somebody to represent um, her institution on on a board and you know and then the YMCA or the Rotary Club just charitable organizations um, recognized in the community that seem to have the confidence of the community um, that that's what I had in mind but yeah, absolutely we we want this to be representative of everybody and, and mm -hmm. so. you're muted Ty. muted Ty how how would the organizations that you're talking about how would they know who the affected people in the community are? Ty, I, I would hope that the institutions that are committed to the, you know, to helping our community have a, an ear to the ground and know what's going on. Um, and obviously if there, if there's a shortfall there, we need to come up with a very good plan to make sure everybody's involved. And that's why the idea of some um, elected uh, officials, you know, a mixed, a mixture of election and appointment, the best way to get a cross section that represents everyone's interests, to me, seems like a desirable goal. And, and, and just for clarification, we're only speaking of when we're first initial set the board up, correct? Well, going a, a model to, I mean, a model that, that, that every, the public can have confidence in and that you can have confidence in the only way that i am going to have confidence in it or the public is going to have confidence in it if it's independent correct so once it's set up then it's independent we don't nobody gets to decide who gets on there except the people right the the mm -hmm. we don't no organization no alderman mayor none of that once it's initially set up then well I, I, there'd be a policy, I, you know, perhaps every two years, the, those civic institutions would s decide whether they want the same person. That's, representing not, independent. That's not independent. Well, I, I mean, I believe independence is the ability not to be tainted by undue pressure as part of the, obviously you can't just recall somebody who's on the board because they take a position that you personally disagree with. There has to be some, some, you know, independence absolutely um, would we agree that an organization can put just as much pressure on a person as the mayor could correct um yeah i i suppose they could you know and anybody can put pressure on anybody um do exactly. you want people who uh, you know have the strength of character to be committed to doing the right thing and and hopefully they will through that have the confidence of everyone Right, so we don't need an organization. Everybody can do it. They they need to be independent. Once I understand, like once we're forming it, obviously somebody's going to have to pick the people, or they have to get elected, right? Yeah. So after that, though, then they're independent. They have to be an independent board. If we can't agree, if everybody has to agree, right, that the board has to be independent. Oh yeah, once the board sits, it must be independent. It cannot be, you know, uh, behaving at the, you know, on the direction of people outside of it. That'd be wholly inappropriate. Right, so therefore the organizations don't get to pick after that. Right, yeah, once they select the person, that's it. They're, they're the representative, at least how I see it. Yeah. yeah, and, right. make it yeah. And, and I believe, um, I believe in the, I'm not sure if it's the, the the document that we just got sent, but I believe that there was a understanding amongst some about 
this specific issue uh if they would be appointed if they would be uh if the, the alderman was going to elect them or, or 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 appoint them i'm sorry however it was i believe there was a discussion on that and it was changed to to that yeah well, we yeah. had a discussion on it but we never we never uh documented i'm actually i'm holding the uh edited and yeah. edited and, and and this seems to me to be exactly what the mayor had in mind when uh, at the direction of um, the representative to say, put forward these ideas and let them, um, you know, choose the way they think best representation is achieved. Uh, who? Uh, the, the city council. Yeah. Let them decide what? What they, I think what they've asked the mayor to do is solicit from us our suggestions in terms of achieving what you indicated an independent board, you know, to a civilian review board that we can have confidence in. So they would look at these ideas that are being proposed, like civic organizations participating, partially elected, and then they can look at all these options and say, well, I think we reached a consensus. At, at least that's what I took from the mayor's um, uh, instruction. I, I'm not sure. I'm just a layman. So I'm not really sure if you're saying that we give some proposals to the council and then they get to decide like how we go forward from that. Well, I, I got the impression that that's what the council was looking for from us was us to provide them. Like as Vernon said, these are the ideas we have that we believe would best achieve fairness in terms of who comprises the board. And then the council would have some discussion about what they think uh, was the idea that most resonated with them. Uh, that's what I took from so far. And that's how I took it that earlier. That's why I said what I said, because I don't know if you were in the meeting or not, but we had a meeting and we discussed this and I asked specifically, Mayor, once we hand this over to the council, to them to push on to the governor, we need something to be said in there that we're gonna have a civilian review board. They said, yes. Then I said specifically, mayor, you're telling us the council does not want anything to do with this, that it's up to us to put this together. So are you telling me that the council is just going to pass it once we're done? And he said, yes. So now if that's not the case, okay. If that's not the case, then we have a problem because then we really are just playing games with this. No, I don't believe I said that at all. I said the oh, you council don't? would have the ultimate, the council would have, they would make the decision. Okay. I don't have the authority to say what the council is going to do. Uh, they will make the decision on what review board they want. They will make the final decision. Okay. So I'm going to do my homework tonight, mayor, and I'm going to send you the link where you did say that. Okay. <laughs> You should know that I don't come out here and speak about shit stuff, excuse me, that I don't know what I'm talking about. You did say that. That's why I asked you specifically if that's how it was going to work. I'm, well, I'm not trying to play games with this. I understand that the city wants to play games with this. And if that's what they choose to do, okay, we'll put it out there. Don't play games with me. Don't waste all these people's time. Mm -hmm. It's not the way I remember it, so. I'm sure. <laughs> Karen? I might have missed something somewhere uh, along the way. I don't believe, being on the committee, that we had what we would consider a finished document or a final document that we would have come out and said, let's send it on to the council. I don't think we got that far. And I do know we talked a couple of different ways about creating that. A, you know, we still need a mission statement. You know, how is a chair elected? What are the responsibilities? We have a long way to go before it's presented to anybody. And we all know it's going to be vetted through the mayor's office, through the council, through the union. This is this is transparent, independent, and, and, and this is this is good. This is a good thing. Um, we need to have a single document, even as I'm sitting here and the one Kim sent. I'm like, God, did I see another one? And I liked the earlier version. We got to get on one document and start saying, this is where we're going and edit revision A, revision B, revision C. And let's get something on paper. This thing that we got going here on Zoom doesn't work well. 
not not trying to review documents anyway. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I want to meet in person. And I think this committee should elect its chair for to, to put this committee together. So anyone that's here member wise should should we should elect a chair from this point. It shouldn't be led by you know the mayor it shouldn't be led by you know anyone else it should be independent what we're hoping for so i would support that anybody else i think that's an interesting concept to um to take the idea of this committee and um, to to start that road of independence and, and um, diversity and, and what's the word I'm looking for? Transparency um, to um, double down on who's going to meet together, go over the, the line items uh, of the documents and stuff like that. It is no doubt more productive than Zoom meetings, these sort of specialized sessions, but um, there has to be a strict agenda. You know, we saw what can happen if we don't walk in with a strict agenda. Um, so th that would be once you moved on from the discussion aspects and more into, you know, like a working group sort of thing. And that, that could use a chair of its own or whatever. But there is a transition phase, you know, what, what comes of this committee into, will there be a standing committee of, uh, with the Common Council? Will this be a, a subcommittee of public safety? Will this committee dissolve? Um, these are important questions. Well, I think this committee has to complete the task at hand. Uh, this committee was so hard when we get where we can't move forward, man. Every time we take, we think we take some steps forward, we get pushed backwards. This committee was formed to do uh, the task was to uh, put forth a plan. Uh, we've completed all of that, but one, one aspect of it. So I think this committee has to continue on with the, uh, with coming up with a, a, a plan that can be presented uh, to the Common Council for their review and, and uh, possible ad uh, uh, no, uh, adoption, so. Now it's possible adoption. <laughs> well, Ty, given the fact they can send it back for a revision, we're, I mean, document like this, no matter what we do and say here today, and try to come up with, mm -hmm. it's never going to be perfect. Sure. We have to understand this is for the city, this is our city and what we want um, and what works. And we can't foresee something might happen in six months or a year or five years. There will be revisions and you know, there'll be revisions as aldermen come through or as mayors or as chiefs or as, or as chair of this committee would step down we don't know. This has got to be a rolling document. I say for probably three years, we will have some tweaks to it. Sure. We can never finish this tonight. I can't foresee every incident that could possibly come out. So sure. Well, but when he says that to me, I take that as we might have a civilian review board. No, I'm just hearing it as they could send it back and ask for a change. All right. That's what I'm hearing. I, I trust you. So once again, how do, how do we transfer from this discussion and these emotions into looking at the papers, looking at the data, looking at line items, one by one, checking it to the city code? When do you get to the work and less of this opinionated exactly. stuff? Well, well, we have it. There's a document that uh, that's on that's been put forth here tonight uh, that can be sent on and get your answers on potential conflicts uh, with the with the plan and get a get a opinion from the, the city attorney 
the uh, uh, labor attorney and come back with suggestions or concerns that they have and then go on from there. Mayor, can I make a suggestion? Sure. Please? <laughs> that um, when we do convene for tonight, that everyone please read the document. That way we don't come back next week with, I didn't see that, I didn't see this because I know I sent that email out. I've already viewed the copy. It went to the entire group and everyone has received my emails before. So everyone had to receive the first one and the second one. Um, I have a idea, some ideas uh, that, that um, some of us have talked about and I could write that up as a second plan. And that way I can submit that to everyone and then you can read and compare both of them. And then I don't know how we proceed next week if we discuss it or debate about it or whatever process we're gonna go through, but at least that way there would be two. I can, I, I, I can write up another one. I'll be... I'll, I can send it to you guys mm -hmm. this, you know, this weekend probably. There's a there's a million of them out there. They're all pretty much the same. They're all of them. Okay. And, and I think all of the police departments are all part of some type of collective bargaining agreement, and they're all in a union. So. So again, uh, the police reform workbook put out by the governor's office. Uh, they start talking about this on page 64, mm -hmm. another good resource to go to and start reading. Vernon, I'll agree with you that mm -hmm. uh -oh. the, most of the police departments are covered by some form of a union, whether it's a PBA or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll never dispute that. However, they all may have collective bargaining agreements, but all of their collective bargaining agreements may be different also. All right. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. uh, lately, there was a, a court ruling for the town of Wallkill, okay, where the court said that the Civilian Review Board had the right to implement discipline against police officers, all right? Totally different than a lot of our municipal and city agencies because that particular police agency, even though they had a collective bargaining agreement, they did not have language that covered disciplinary procedures under the civil service law. So therefore it applied to them, but it does not apply particularly to the city of Olean, the city of Geneva, the city of Hornell, any municipal agency whose discipline is covered under the civil service law. So we have to, we have to be careful, you know, how, look at each case because each case that's being ruled out there or each court case that's being brought out there is is different you have to make sure that it's totally apples with apples you know net wall kill is just one example where that case doesn't apply to several municipal police agencies by any chance did you read any of the three court cases that were in that document that was given to you when we were in the courtroom yes i did and those court cases do not exempt or override the collective bargaining agreement under the civil service disciplinary procedures that the city of Olean has. Well, did, did the city of Olean create something that was indestructible? I mean, what is the deal with the city of Olean's collective bargaining agreement or union agreements that are so written so well? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to... I'm, Supreme Court don't beat it. It trumps Supreme Court, New York State Supreme Court. Please, sir, we've had this discussion, right? We had it at the courtroom. There's no way. I'm just going to let you know now. I told you months ago when you ain't prepared yet. There's mm -hmm. no way in whatever God's green earth that I'm just going to accept you telling me that we cannot pass this. You're going to show me some laws that say that we can't do something. There is no, no, we can't do this because of Taylor law and we're just gonna say this stuff. Nope, nope. Just like Mr. Robinson put on black and white right here, everything that we could do and what we can't, you're gonna do the same thing or 
If not, if you do not want to bring your facts to the table, then you're just going to have to stay quiet in the corner. Uh, no, I'll bring my facts to the table, but okay. I, I will tell you this. that you keep saying that, but I don't see anything. Excuse me? You keep saying that you're going to bring these facts, but I don't see anything. It's going to take, take a while. It's going to take a little slow. I think we heard the same thing last month. Last month, I've been hearing it ever since we've been doing this. The same old stuff. The it's same old stuff. Same. This is the same this comment. This should not be confrontational. Okay. No. So then why? <laughs> this That's my point, sir. There's a difference. Ty, there's a difference in opinions here. Okay. There's a difference in opinions. And that's the problem. You want to be so independent, but you can't go with your own agenda. You have to go, you have to listen to everybody, then evaluate the facts afterwards. Okay. But th th that's, what, that's what I'm trying to tell you, sir. Like people, we got facts right here. You keep saying, you just keep spreading stuff, saying different things, just throwing anything out there. Not once in all these months have you, the chief, the mayor, anybody brought us any proof to anything that you're saying. Everywhere in the country can do change, but for some reason, only in cannot, it has a trouble doing change. Really? Seriously? You know why? Because people like you, sir, who don't want that change, who keeps just saying whatever they want and thinking that we're just supposed to accept it, that's not how things work no more. I, that's not true because from the very first meeting, I told you that we were 100% in favor of accountability and transparency. Okay. So. Okay. I, I don't, I'm not going to argue with you, sir. I'm from Missouri. That's the show me state. Show me your facts. This will be forwarded to show my you. department. Okay. Who, who will respond to it. All right. And is that going to take another four months? Because you've been saying you're going to do all this stuff. And, and that's what's really the hold up. Because we could have went right through this. This here, this here, this here. We want this. We don't want that. But you keep saying all this stuff. We can't. Oh, we got to check with this. We got to. When are you going to actually check? I, I don't think that there's any reason to be like this. I think you can be simple and we can discuss it. Okay. My, my main goal. Okay. Is mm -hmm. to make sure two things that when we come up with this review board, that it's legal, okay, and it's feasible, and that if it's not legal, we're not gonna cost the taxpayers of this city money to pay for litigation. I don't okay. wanna hear your lies anymore, sir. Save it, save it for somebody who believes all that. Oh, it's gotta be legal. We already done told you that it's legal. You know for a fact that it's legal. That's why you have it. Then, there's a difference in opinion. So then how come you have it? How come, uh, you, how come you get to say all this stuff but never get to prove your point? How come you don't never have to show what you say? Okay, let's have a let's have a timeout. Yeah. Uh, Always a timeout when they when it's on. Mayor, can you please then? Could you please bring his evidence? Can you help him out and bring his facts to the table? Because somebody needs to. Otherwise, we're going to just keep going around in circles. Just for clarification, uh, you know, as it's my obligation to make to protect the city. OK, and uh, I've said right along, I am been in favor of a review board. I just want to make sure that everything is is in order with whatever this this uh, they bring forth and whatever the common council adopts that uh, we're going to be able to defend that if 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 and I use the word if if we're taking the task with a disciplinary hearing at an arbitration or at a at a, a, a civil litigation so that's where I'm coming from uh, Mickey, you've had your hand up. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I have a question for you, Mr. Mayor. But first, I just wanted to make a statement. If we love transparency so much, release the body cam footage. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, right. My question. My question is, um, what is the current state of collecting bargaining agree collective bargaining agreements with the city of Olean and the the unions? Um, I know the, the budget was just passed 
and that um, they were up for renewal, as was stated. What's the current situation there? We are in negotiations right now. Currently. So, so this this would be a an interesting subject to talk about, wouldn't you think? Knowing what we're trying to do, might want to make that part of the agreement discussion. I'll take it under advisement. <laughs> How can it happen if we, if you, he just told us that we have to talk to the labor, the lawyer, and we have to go through the union. Like, see, this is what I mean. Like, this is games, man. I'm, I'm with Karen. I think we need to, the mayor, I'm sorry. I love you. But you can't run this no more. I'm with her. She, we need to, we need to separate this from our, you guys. Make this independent, please. Everybody, vote on somebody to run it, please. So I'm 45. I'm dying from a heart attack here. So are you? Uh, if what I'm hearing here is, are you? You wish to have me disband this group, and you want to form your own? Is that what she said? That's now, not why would you what say I said. that? Why would you say that to me, and you didn't say that to her? That's ignorant. No, it's no, it's not. What? Okay. Uh, this group was, like I said, this group was put together to finish a task. Okay. Uh, all I've been is the facilitator here. You know, <laughs> so, you know, this group is the one that's put, you know, you're the ones that are doing everything. No, we're the ones with our hands tied. <laughs> we, you're, the, <clears throat> you're the facilitator, right, of handcuffs. Ma'am, I vote that you be the leader. Anybody else? Nobody wants to vote. Everybody just wants to keep letting this keep go on just like it's going on. I gave you a suggestion that we'll take the, the proposal. We'll come back with answers from the legals on this and you'll, you'll have your answers. It might be, it's all legal, we agree. It, it might, might be, they might have suggestions. Like Daryl said, there could be suggestions, uh, you know, on here, and you'll have your answers to the case law that you that has been presented in there. So, if if, if if we go through this next week, man, we don't have any other choice but to elect a different leader. Plain and simple. If not, everybody on here is in there for not the right reasons. Because you can see that we're just going around in a circle. Ty, remember that we're the people here today who chose to be here, um, other people are not on this meeting tonight and the mayor organized the meeting and we're all here to try to achieve a just result. So, you know, that's funny. try to be, try to be open minded that, to this. That's funny because when the young lady said that we should, we should put somebody in charge of this, you didn't raise your hand, sir. No, I, 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 I'm grateful that the mayor organized the meeting and is right, having right. these meetings. Keep going around and, and, and no, and I and you're on this board because the mayor put you on this board and values your opinion, and I value your opinion, and I think that we should have a very open dialogue like we're having and a respectful one, and try to achieve a great result, and it requires you to be part of that. Respect goes both ways, sir. If we're gonna sit up here, right? We can't. One side can't just be telling the truth. One side can't just bring facts. That's not how it works. We've been trying to go at this. Let that young man talk. Go ahead. Aaron? So now that my beard went gray from waiting, um, are we doing, like, it doesn't make any sense. All this has been a waste of my time listening to this. If we're not going to establish the first building block of does the council want a review or an investigative? Isn't that what they want? Like one for review, one for investigative, they're going to pick? I believe that's what they're requesting, yes. I mean, so we would be wasting time and jumping through these other hoops and channels only to have to come back and start back over if we don't do that first. There has to be a higher standard. We have I mean, to get to work. Other stuff right now. We're always good. I think what they're suggesting uh, is to appoint a a, a, a chair review or chair investigative who can um, work review or investigative. I believe it's called. They're both the same I thing. I, no, I not. believe that it's called no, the not. Civilian Police Oversight Committee. 
I believe that's what it was called. Right? Anybody? No? I, I, it was something along those lines. I can't remember at this point. Yeah, oh. If I remember correctly, um, the Civilian Review Board is, is supposed to do both. Can, can somebody like, don't, don't leave me out here like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Did we discuss changing the name to only in Civilian Police Oversight Committee? I mean, I have the paperwork if nobody remembers. <laughs> I remember. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, no, like I said, it was something like, I can't remember, you, you might have the exact wording, gotcha. I can't remember the exact wording, but it was something like that, yeah. Right, right. so there, so is that good enough for everybody? Only in civilian police oversight committee, is that good? Um, I, we talked about that, but that's not what, the, the one that Vern sent out on January 26th in an email was a proposed legislation creating an elected civilian review board. And it, it has, um, it's very specific um, in a lot of the information and it's, um, it's, it's inclusive. So um, I, I don't know, is that where we wanna start? Um, Vern has also, also offered to draft another version of that. And I know you said that you were willing to do that. Um, I think it's hard to continue to talk about what it is we are and we aren't going to do or what we are and we aren't going to recommend if we haven't if we haven't reviewed the last document that Vern sent out that that was after we got together and we talked and Vern had made some changes and he sent another proposed civilian review board out um, in January for us to take a look at. So um, I, I don't know where we wanna go with this or what we wanna do, but I, how many people have actually read through the document that Burns sent out? Has everybody read it in its entirety? Okay, cause I did. It's um, been a while, it's now April. Right. You know right. what I mean? It's been three months. So is, so. is this where we wanna start? Or do we want Vern to write another draft of that and for Ty to write a draft of it and for us to look at those three different ones and see if we want to combine them or submit them all separately? Um, because we do we do have the one Vern set. Um, okay, Daryl wants to talk. So let's jump back to my last statement, review or investigative because the bottom line when it all shakes out the council is going to have the final approval it like and the only answer i need is correct or incorrect they're the correct. same thing the count the council is going to have the final approval correct or incorrect correct right okay so and no they're not the same because the what you had previously said earlier on is you listed examples of review and then other um boards that were investigative not both so the only difference not, is so for those not, who have so discipline. Therefore, they're not the same. And the I'm just telling you factually, they're not the same. Yeah, the only difference is one has power to discipline, the other doesn't. Review and investigate are the same thing. Yeah, I, it's my understanding that the review aspect would be where the review board will actually review policies, procedures of the police department, and also have the ability to investigate. That should be laid out in that same exact plan. And that is the one that consisted of the information that the police department presented, or I'm sorry, uh, Greg Carey presented uh, a few months back. Uh, and then the one that I was going to rewrite is the one where uh, we discuss the Indian Police Oversight Committee, and, and that being uh, appointed with a few changes that were in that one. So like I said, I can write that one up and write those changes and submit that to everyone. I could probably knock that out tomorrow sometime, if not early Saturday morning. Okay, is that the direction we want to go? Everybody okay with uh, with Vernon doing that? And uh, then we will... Uh, Get it out so everybody can read it. And then when we reconvene next week, uh, we just had a discussion on that. Keyword, everyone has to read it. Everyone. 
that I way there's no delay. And then if Ty was going to uh, do another one and the same thing, get, get it to everybody so everybody can review it and take some time to review it, take some time to uh, highlight the different areas or very questions, you know, that you have on that. And, uh, and in the meantime, what I will do is I'll take this proposal that was uh, presented uh, back in January and I will ship that off to, uh, so that uh, there could be some uh, opinions uh, and with, uh, with comments to come back so that uh, the boy can see that. Could you ask them specifically to cite if there's any conflicts of interest with local law or state law or any other law to cite which specific sections or subsections that uh, would be a conflict so that we can review those and best refine them? Yeah, mm -hmm. send me, uh, if everybody would like to email me what the, their, their, uh, what concerns, like uh, Nikki, you have those concerns, just send it to me uh, and I'll, uh, I'll put that all together and, and send that off uh, when I ask them to review it. I mean, I think all he's asking for is that if they say this, there's something concerning in there, they just put the proof in there and right. cite it, you know, okay. cite it with whatever it is. Okay. And proof I in there. All right, I understand now, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, I guess uh, just for clarity, if there's a case law that they, uh, that's concerning that they, uh, they uh, come up with the other, a, uh, an opinion or a case law that, uh, that would uh, uh, back up why that's concerning. Mm -hmm. I so move. Yes, that that's the way we should go. <laughs> and everybody, please do their homework. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, okay with that? Just raise, raise, raise your hand if you're okay with it. I'm okay with the bill, but I have something I want to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. There's a difference between facilitating a meeting mm -hmm. and completing an agenda. An agenda starts as what is the name? What is the mission? Part A, we're going to look at Part B tonight. We're going to, uh, you know, revise Part C. It's very clear on what each day is going to be, mm -hmm. you know, and say, okay, well, this has been tossed back. We got to revise this back on page two. And we back up and we revise page two. We've all done millions of documents facilitating a meeting and having an agenda, a specific agenda for this committee to complete its work. And right now, I get what Vern's doing and, and Nikki, thank you so much for pointing this stuff out. Um, I'm now gonna go back and look at the book. We've had multiple documents in front of us. Some parts I liked, some parts I didn't. We have to get on one document, one mission, unified with the city, with our police officers. Remember, this is supposed to be a good thing for everybody, but mm -hmm. An agenda is different than facilitating a meeting. We need to sit down, paper, book in front of us, cross it off, highlight it in red, retype it, because this is not effective. It's it's 20 to 8, and, and we just went three circles. That was all? Just three? <laughs> well, I was seven. And, and, and we got to go back is, around is, another circle again, because I thought that we already had uh, what's J, J.R.? He said a while ago, like, in order for us to get this going, we have to have a name, like, figure out the name, what it is. I, and that's what I thought that we did. So now are we are we redoing that? Because, like, when, when I put my legislation to you, it's going to be named whatever you want. So, like, what would you like the name to be called? I think the name should just stick with what we – came up with the only we didn't come up with one did we oversight committee so it is that yes i mean the one from that previous document the document that was sent january 26 is only an elected civilian review board right and when we talked though we all i thought that we all agreed that it would go yes and I don't, I don't know what everyone's thoughts are, um, but I mean, is it possible to meet in person if we're all masked and, and separate or no? Just curiosity. With a good agenda, like Karen mentioned, this is so important. This is the difference between conversation and work. You gotta, you gotta moderate, you gotta have the right agenda. Item by item, as JR mentioned in the past, 
that's the working part of it. Okay. Uh, available next week. I will not be. I don't. I don't see why we can't meet uh, in person. We've got what fifteen of us. It looks like left. Uh, one, two. Just twelve. I'm counting thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, I have another page. Oh, oh yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. Okay. And just so everybody knows, I won't be yeah. at the next week. We got one missing. Uh, Officer McGraw. So yeah, we can we can do it here in the uh, uh, the courtroom. Uh, I'll have to check for availability uh, next week, and uh, we can meet there. Yeah, and uh, social distance, and uh, uh, we'll have an agenda for next week. I'll uh, I'll put together the agenda, and uh, we'll go from there. And whatever we have, Bill, uh, you know, copies. So can we can have copy paper copies in front of us. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we can have. Yeah, whatever is presented, we'll we have paper copies for everybody. So. Would the time be the same? Will the time be the same? You want to meet earlier? You want to meet? Uh, you want to come in at six o'clock instead of six thirty? You want to? Um, you know. Uh, we have to wait. We have to wait till at least five because uh, the, the, the the courts are out of there at five. So, I have next Thursday open, so I could meet at any time. I just want to make sure I get it on my calendar. Um, what time we're going to meet next week? Is uh, six thirty still convenient for everybody? We'll keep it at six thirty. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I, I'm willing to meet in person at the courthouse next Thursday, six thirty. Yeah. Okay. All right. Your, uh, if you come for some reason, if you come late, uh, enter through the police department. Uh, okay. I'll make arrangements for that. If not, if you're here, uh, six thirty between uh, twenty after and six thirty, I'll have the front door uh, on the uh, by the courtroom. Yeah. Yeah. The. Uh, they can park. Uh, I want to, yeah, well, I can open up, uh, I'll be there, I'll open up both, both doors. So you can, if you park on Times Square, you can come in at the uh, courtroom entrance, or if you're out on, on East State Street, come in the uh, that entrance there. Okay. Okay. Hopefully it won't be snowing. <laughs> Look it's outside. Right now. Oh, it's coming down like crazy right now. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be in the 70s, Karen, next week. This okay. week, we wear boots. Next week we will be wearing sandals. Just I'm so you know. It sprinter. Just so you know. Sprinter, swing and spring and winter all at the same time. That's okay, right. Okay, so uh, uh, we have some direction. Okay, so I guess we're finished for tonight. I'm good. Amen. Amen. All right. See everybody, See everybody next week. Good night, all. Good night. Have a good, good, night, night. good evening. Have a good weekend. You too, I'll sir. Be in, I'll be in Cleveland in the snow watching the Yankee game. So we'll see. <laughs> Enjoy. Take care, man. Yeah. Take care. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night.